you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Get out of range now. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Leg kick lands. Nice. Lee gets caught by that straight take hand. Shot now, shot. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, nice combination of strikes to the body. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice punch here. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Three minutes. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Throwing that low kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice kick to the body. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Just touching him with the jab. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Big inside kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Way to hide that leg kick. He's got that single collar tie. Right back on those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. 
Under a minute now to go. Right on the button. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the test. Landed that one. Sidekick now. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Dude getting active, lands another combination to the head. First round winding down here. For the end of round one. All right, take a seat. Listen, great round, man. You really kept the pressure on. I told you you were going to win this fight with cardio. Let's keep that pace up and let's keep putting that pressure on. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. here just out of range oh you land I land is that what we're doing here well the more things change the more they stay the same he continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will well I mean John the guy can fight everywhere and he can fight everywhere meaning he can fight on the ground he can fight in the stand-up but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good right this is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time and it is showing in this performance Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. All right, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. He found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Head kick is blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Oh, man. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Under two minutes to go. Nice jab. 
really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Stuff to take down, no problem. Short uppercut in the clinch by Lee. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. Oh, separation from the clinch. Leg kick checked by Lee. Oh, he lands that team. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. A oh, little single collar tie there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Jab is on point right now. Hook to the head there by Lee. Very fast leg kick lands for 20 seconds left to go in round two. Dig and kick. Seconds winding down in round two. His misses are entertaining. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, sit down. Catch your breath. Slow it down, get some water. Listen, everything you're putting out there is working. I want you to stay. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Sidekick, well placed. Nice block. Leg kick is there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. That high kick will get you spinning. Great land there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, doing work with the jab. Oh, another punch lands flush. Leg kick. Hands up. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round, really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. And that one certainly found the target. Continuing to go to the head. We march on three minutes to go. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And he lands that side kick. Nice left punch by this guy. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. 
Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by Lee. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he didn't like that one. Under two minutes to go in round three. Nice strike. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Way to test the chin there. Landed a few combination to the head. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Patented front kick there by Lee. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Quick jab. 20 seconds to go. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now... He's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth Four. round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Connects now with the one, two. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Huge knee lands to the point. Uh, bunches and bunches for the longer fighter. He landed another strike there. Leg kick. Another nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, man, head kick lands. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Nice crack there. Oh, multiple 
strikes landing here. He has certainly found the range here in this round. Just over three minutes to go. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. He checked that last one. Big power shot there. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can, seems like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Nice jab. of kicks here. Solid punch lands for him. Oh, inside kick. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Missed on the right hand. What a beautiful left punch had landed there. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. There's that body shot. Hands up. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Both fighters throwing heat now. And a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though, though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. 20 seconds left. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, back and forth we go. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice straight right lands. He loaded up on that right hand too. Oh, look at that right hand there. Oh, nice knee. Hands up, hands up. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar. Leg kick lands nicely done. Useful hook there. Oh, man. That cut 
is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's gonna be very busy. He's gonna be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. His cut has gotten bad. And he has got a guy in front of him that is gonna continue to talk. He gets to the single collar title. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Right hand, yup. Hands high, hands high. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice kick to the body. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice. Nice shot, lands downstairs. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie, locked in tight. Good jab. That was a beautiful head kick. Big right hook there by the champ. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Throws the teeth now and it lands. Lee's kick is blocked. Less than a minute now to go in the round. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful jab lands. Well, you see him cringing now as the body damage just continues to pile up. He hasn't made the adjustments, and I wouldn't even hate a stoppage here. No, I wouldn't hate a stoppage here. This guy's been beat up. Like, he hasn't adjusted at all. This started at the very start of the fight, and it continued to the point now that it seems as though it's an eventuality that this fight will be stopped due to body damage. Tremendous game plan, and it worked perfectly. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Final seconds of the fight. Nice inside leg kicks there by Lee. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon.
mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's gonna get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,